Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this week's Spotlight on Learning Assembly. Today's Spotlight is hosted by myself, Dago, and also Hala. Let's open this week's assembly with a Spotlight on Talent from Ira in Year 6. Hello, everyone. Um, I am going to show you a drawing that I really like to do when I'm bored. So I'm going to teach you how to do it. Hello. So the first step is you're going to draw these two lines, which is going to be the stem of this mushroom. Then what you're going to do is draw this curved line. And it could be as curvy as you want. So now you're going to draw these lines under to make it seem a bit more 3D. It's okay if they're not perfect, by the way. Now I'm just going to draw the mushroom shape. It can be any shape you like, but I chose the shape. Okay, now I'm going to touch it up. Okay. okay. Now that is better, we're going to draw some polka dots. It can be any type. So now that you've drawn the polka dots, you're going to draw some eyes. This might be a bit uncomfortable, but yeah. So I'm going to do that real quick. So yeah, this is the finished product. I hope you like it. So yeah, goodbye. As well as Ira sharing her sketching skills, she's also demonstrating her communication skills. I spoke very clearly and also used technology effectively to share her talent. Please do send Miss Claire any short videos you have sharing a talent as we would love to see them. Ideally, they should, should be around 30 seconds long. We also have another challenge for you to share. At Nexus, we develop personal goals so that we can use them to help our learning and also to help us in real life. We would love to see how you are using your personal goals at home. For example, you may be a responsible gecko by helping out at home and keeping your room tidy. Or perhaps, you always recycle. You might demonstrate kindness by playing with a brother or a sister. Have a look at the different personal goals and reflect for a moment which ones you demonstrate at home. We would love to hear it from you. Now, it is our favorite time of the week where we have a look at all the knowledge that has been learned, skills that have been practiced, and understanding that has been deepened. Please sit back and enjoy the show. Mother Lady Hero is a policeman because policemen catch thieves. They stop crime and help people. That's what a modern day hero does. I will sing a beautiful song. Bye, bye, bye. Modern day heroes protect us when there's a big disaster. And, and they work up real high. Okay, I my modern day hero is probably firefighters. <laughs> Good choice, sir. Protect us with big trouble and you know what? Fire, fire, stay. Hey, you. Hey, you. Have a long time. When there's big and there's huge big fire. Put them down. Mr. Policeman, why are you considered as a modern day hero? People consider me as a modern day hero because I keep people safe from bad guys and people feel happy and safe. And I, and I catch people and, and I mean I catch bad guys and put them in jail. You're my hero, my only hero. 
You make me happy when skies are gray. You're kind and helpful and keep us healthy. Mom, you are my modern hero day. So, nurses all around the world have been taking care of pets. Even not afraid of snakes and not even afraid of lions, octopuses or sharks. Not any. So, so, and they give them temperatures and checkups. So, my modern day hero is the doctor because the doctor helped live from the virus. And she also saved life from the virus and protect us. So you're a teacher, right? Yes, I am a teacher. And what do you do when you're a teacher? I help children who are stuck doing their work. What else, when you, what else do you do when you're a teacher? Kids in math sometimes when they need a little bit of help. And for, so for today's news, am I news eight? We have a modern day hero and saves lots of people, but they but they do but they do it for their for the people's own good. And it's the doctor as my modern as the modern day hero. We thought they are hardworking and helpful because they really want to do it for them to be safe. That's today on the news. I have Google for this topic. They are kind because they help people. They are this brave because they did the Hi, I'm a vet. I'm a real modern day hero because she really loves animals. He's a dog. Dogs that cats and dogs that are injured, she loves. So she likes that that can help those sick animals. Consider a hero because they are good. Animals. They are helpful because they take away pain from animals. They are hardworking because they work very long hours. They are brave because sometimes they have to treat scary animals like snakes. Hello everyone! Today I am doing this IPC lesson right now. I'm going to teach you all about the internet. Woohoo! Learning! IPC! Internet is the network which connects computers. The internet is where you get information and things like that. Is to learn new stuff 
and to go inside online classes. Global system of interconnected computer networks. Great because I like to play video games, but too much screen time gives me a headache. It's for watching, playing, and doing homework. Something that goes through stuff like it's electricity. The electricity inside it is the electricity has information and it shoots into different places. The internet is amazing. The internet works with computers, wires, cables, air, the internet works through connecting Wi-Fi. The internet works by electricity. By doing Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. I think it works like you just hit a, type in some words you want to search then hit the enter key maybe. It shoots up into a satellite shoots down and becomes a sound wave and there's like that strip of line and then when it goes to it it becomes um, a strip um, and then it becomes like electricity which um, goes really fast for ipads and telephones it's, it it connects wi-fi to there's little sticks have wires in them so they travel all around and they and they go on the ground and come into your house when you plug a cable in electricity goes through the club and then it goes through the wire and ch and if it's charging it goes and gives it the scent that and goes mm -hmm goes all the way through it and into an iPad or a TV and many many more things. Play games, search different apps, watch YouTube and learn information. You go on this app connects you to the internet like you like do stuff with people like fight against them whatever today you can chat and you can and you can watch videos watch videos using the internet and you can commun communicate with your friends that live very far away you can play video games you can download Going apps, many more things. And find things and find new videos that can learn you Spanish. Online classes and you can learn new stuff in it. Play video games, search for information and watch videos. Search stuff, play games, things, do history. Learn stuff from it, you can read books on it, you can search for things that you don't know. There's so many things to do with internet. The 1980s. I don't know. 1969. 2013. 2015. When caveman died. In 2001. I don't know, but it was not a long time ago. I hope you enjoy my IPC, my knowledge harvest video. Bye! I hope you have a great day! Bye!
In the close encounter, big bang clock chimed overhead. An hour till midnight, many slouched deeper into the shadows. The great London city now vacant and dark. The only light source was coming from the street lights. So many places for predators to hide. She needed to seek shelter, but where? A cave, perfect. She wore her jagged rocks dangling from the ceiling. The floor was slimy and had a few crannies, but she here a strong beak to wings, even though her heart was beating fast as a cheetah. What was it? Many trembled with fear. She realized a small but deadly bat was shadowing over her. The bat lunged for Benny. The bat thought if it could catch its first prey tonight. She could finally hunt with her family, but Minnie was a hard mouse to catch. She dashed for jagged rock, but she was too late. The bat was flying along with her. Using all the energy left in her body, she ran towards the rock. The bat flew around the rock. She was trapped. What could she do? The bat figured out that it could use its claws to pick the rock. Minnie was dead meat. As the bat was going to grab Minnie, a familiar voice shouted, If you mess with her, you mess with us. Bat. Minnie turned to find family. What were they doing her? The mint smocked. Goody, goody, more mice to catch. Mama Mouse distracted the bat, while Minnie and her brother and sisters scampered the cave's opening just to find a projector and Mama beside it. But a terrified yelp snapped her back into the present. Her only brother was in the claws of a blood-sucking, mouse-eating, white-trip bat. How could Minnie save him? Jeremy whispered. Jeremy was hiding in a dark, damp hole from the terror that awaited outside. He looked around. He was alone, or was he? But then a mysterious sound came from the tunnel that led into the side of a maze of curving, winding paths. Jeremy froze. What was it? Just then a scaly, slinky, slithery body came hurtling around the corner. Jeremy's mouse instinct took control and he ran like the raging wind outside. The snake was snapping at his heels. Jeremy ran faster and faster through the dark, endless passage. He ran round the corner and found himself at a dead end. Thinking fast, he dug a hole in the wall and hid. The snake passed. He was safe for now. Hello, welcome to Zaldo and the Creature, part one. My millions on a must be. There was a fox stuck in a forest not know where to go. He saw a crow. 
Something extraordinary close by. Lizzie was sure that she had glimpsed a long tongue sticking out of a, of a large mouth. She could only hear hissing even though thunderstruck a million deaths on the rainwashed pavements. Her skin began to loosen up as she froze. What was it? And that's my part one and part two of Lizzie's Nightmare. Bye. Hard balls of ice fell on the ground angrily. Max crouched into the sewer shivering then Long drops of ice hung above his head. Max was at above his head. Max froze. Where, where, where could he escape with the disaster? At that moment, Max saw something in the staring along the pipe. Max was sure he saw a flicker of a gray eye. He could just hear a hungry breath echoing in the pipe, even though the blizzard rain a thousand deaths. Even though the rain danced a thousand deaths. He his whiskers straightened and his and he twitched his nose. What was it? Without thinking, Max scurried as fast as as he shot down the pipe and it was still freezing. Then Max could just make out a thick pink tail in the darkness. And then a huge dirty a huge dirty teeth jutted out of his mouth and and jutted out of his mouth and then a thick dirty slash jutted. My version of Zelda Claws Part 1. That book was a plastic shrimp in the Mariana Trench. He got caught in a current and has been flowing for one hour now. And finally, he hit a shipwreck. Because of this, he injured himself. That book heard something in the hull of the shipwreck. That, so, he swam in cautiously. That book felt an uncomfortable feeling in his tiny heart. He also, he also saw something at the corner of his eye, even though... Tapuk only had had eyes as big as a pinky fingernail. Tapuk saw a bushy brown something, something like a coconut husk. Suddenly, he heard the rustle swooshing of seaweed behind him. Instantly, he knew he was being stalked. What would he do? He swam as fast as he could into a rusty cannon. He braced for impact before something tipped over the cannon. What type of creature had the strength for pushing over a 200 kilograms 
cannon and what would be so determined to catch a single plastic shrimp. Then he saw it, the python-like teeth, the bushy tail, and the eeriest of them all, the blood. On the teeth, it must have been on his teeth for a long time because blood and water would just wash away. What were the chances that he would survive this apex predator? I hope you enjoyed. Um, until next time, bye. Hello, Nexus Learners. I am Samurai Adam, your digital superhero. My superpowers are number one, super sword for precise knowledge of right and wrong. Number two, super martial arts to control bullies. Number three, super energy to teach good lessons. The scenario is someone uses someone else's password to be that person online. Samurai Adam to the rescue. The solution is to report this to the teacher. Don't say mean things online. Hello, Shanghai. Digital superhero. My name is Fuzzy, and these are my sidekicks Snowy, Lavender, and Rosie. We work together to ensure children are safe during online learning. Because of this horrible disease, I think it's called what is it? Corona virus? I think it's coronavirus. Yeah, that's the one. So we are very good at our job. My superpower is that if I concentrate hard, I can tell a kid to do something and they will do it. Snowy, Lavender, and Rosie are still too young to have superpowers. So, for example, someone spreads rumors about somebody else online. to make that person delete the post and see that it is fake. I sweet talk the person to not do it again and that it is wrong. I warn people that it is a fake online post. I just watch because I'm too young to be a sidekick yet. This is how we save the day. Hey guys, Cyber Square here. Here are some tips on what to do if someone spreads rumors. First of all, do not share it and do not believe it. You have to be safe. Next of all, search it up. If you think it's true, search it up. Search it up on a reliable source. You need to be safe. Lastly, if you found out that it's not true, then literally do not tell anybody. Just ignore it post and leave it alone. Safe. Before we go to Miss Claire, let's say a happy birthday to those celebrating this week. This week we have Ryan in year five. Have a wonderful birthday, Ryan. Thank you so much to our incredible presenters, Daigo and Harla this week. Great job, guys. And a, a little message from me about the personal goal videos. We would really love to see you putting your personal goals into action at home. 
So send us a short 30 second video talking about how you use a personal goal. Maybe share us a little video of you in action using your personal goal because it's really important to understand and see how personal goals help us in real life. Also, keep these talents coming. Send your videos to me showing your many different talents, whatever they may be, and we can all share and celebrate those together. Take care and have a device-free weekend. See you on Monday.